what's up you guys welcome to the channel today we're heading out to a junkyard i got a message that there was a very nice engine in a 67 ford thunderbird so we're gonna go check it out hopefully it is what i'm looking for and hopefully we can get this find and bring it home let's do it <music> Here we go. This is the setup. Man, love the smell of junkyards in the morning. <laughs> Let's get in here. All right, we've got the map. We're looking for the American cars, which should be right there. Let's head out. See if we can find this Thunderbird. Take this engine home. So the cool thing about LKQ is that when you go online, they put the space number of where that car is at. So I hear it says it's in row 41, which should be around here somewhere. All right, we're still looking for it. Should be around here somewhere. Pretty much no old cars at this junkyard. Let's keep finding. All right, guys, figured it out. So I looked throughout the whole junkyard and the car wasn't here. There's a separate entrance to get into the more specialty cars, I guess. So we're gonna head out in here, hopefully find the car, and take that engine home. Let's do it. All right, so we're in the separate yard. Now we gotta find Row 41, it's 43 right there. This is 42 right here, I think. 42, 41. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh. Let's check it out. Chrysler. There it is. Holy cow. <laughs> it's lifted up already. Wow. Check that thing out. So we're going to check the van again. 67 Thunderbird. Wow, bucket seats are all there. Everything is there. Very nice. So cool. So let's check the VIN here. See what we find. Somewhere around here. It's like a auto lights powered by Ford. It's an FE, FE engine. Let me try to find the VIN here. Maybe it's on the dash. here wow lots of cool stuff 
Should be around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do some research. Here's the door tag. Looks like it was repainted, but check that out. 7Y67. Uh, this is the plant Y84 is Thunderbird, and that's the Q428, baby. Let's check it out. We got to do some more research here. It's got the four barrel carb, it looks like. Emissions carburetor. <laughs> that's a weird looking carburetor. I haven't seen one of those, like a quadrajet almost. It's got all the smog stuff on it here as well. So. Got a lot of work to do. We're gonna take the engine out and hopefully it has that A scratch on the back of the block. Let's do it. Can't find the VIN on the car, but we're just gonna go ahead and pull it. And I don't have enough time to be uh, being careful with these parts, unfortunately. So we're just gonna pull the engine. I'm gonna cut a lot of this stuff out. I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So let's get to it, enough talk. Hopefully we find that A scratch behind the block and it'll make everything worthwhile. <laughs> okay, let's see if it comes out. There we go. Saza, baby. Got this nice cushion to lay on. Cut the exhaust. Take off the motor mount bolts. Try to disconnect it from the transmission. That should be it. Got to get to work. Got a lot to do. Guys, got a comfy bed. Man, can't get any better than that. We cut the exhaust. <laughs> Sometimes I'm too crazy with these old cars. <laughs> All right, we've got the exhaust cut out. Looks like it's got a C6. Very, very nice. I might try to come tomorrow to get that C6 as well. Um, but uh, now we're just going to take off the uh, transmission mount bolts, these bolts right there, and um, undo the motor mount bolts, take off the carburetor, and just mount it. Let's get this thing done. Let's do it. All right. Almost got the carburetor out. Just get some linkages attached. Cut a couple stuff. And there you go. <laughs> Four barrel. Another very good sign is this S right there on the intake. So let's continue. By laying this carb plate, I declare this engine mine. 428. All right. So I've got the studs out, carburetor studs. So you guys know those are always super hard to get out so it took me a little bit but i got it done i'm gonna put this plate on i'm going to take off the transmission bolts and then take out the motor mount bolts and that should be it should be able to pull it up so check out this crazy angle i had to do just to get to that bolt Looks like we got it out. Boom. Oh man, that just saved so much time. <laughs> Let's get the other two. The uh, Milwaukee Stubby with the Sunix uh, Universal Impact Socket, the Wobble. These things are just super nice. I mean, let me see. I'll try to get in here, see if I can get in here. But. in here there we go it's in you guys probably can't see that but it reaches the bolt let me get some of these lines out of the way oh I took it out you see that right there that's what we're trying to get the last one
What's up you guys? So unfortunately not a happy ending. Um, I did not end up pulling that 428. I actually ended up in the emergency room and to sum it all up it was uh, heat exhaustion and it was just a crazy crazy day. A lot of stuff happened and uh, you know pretty much uh, I thought I was going to be at the yard for about two hours maybe three hours max pulling that engine and I just remember I got really tired um, I was pretty thirsty so I took a small break went back to the truck I drank some water and then as soon as I came back to work on that 428 I just my muscles got really tense uh, I got really really dizzy and my vision just got super blurred so I knew something was not right so I called 911 right away um, and it, you know right away the ambulance came and they put me on fluids and when I got to the to the ER the the doctor pretty much told me it was heat exhaustion so pretty crazy day out there um, I guess the excitement got the better of me because you just don't see these 428s out here in California you know that's really really rare to see one out here in the junkyard and I was just not paying attention to the weather I was not paying attention to the time and that's just ended up happening you know um, but uh, just super bummed out because uh, the following morning I went back with a buddy of mine to finish pulling that that engine and uh, someone was already there um, and as soon as I saw that person like my heart just dropped man like all that time all that effort is just gone to waste and you can't really do anything because it's LKQ it's pretty much um, first come first serve so you have uh, first dibs whoever gets there first you know but uh, it just wasn't meant to be, you know, it's stuff like that happens. Um, I know it will not be the last 428 that I see, but man, it would just been really cool to pull that thing and, and take it home. But it just wasn't meant to be. Um, but, you know, it's just I'm just glad I'm, I'm you know, it's, it wasn't as bad. It could have been worse. And that's what happened. But uh, I just want to make this video to hopefully remind you guys um, to be safe out there. I know a lot of us work on these old classic cars. And, uh, you know, just be safe when you're working on this stuff. Uh, when you're using like a grinder, make sure you use the appropriate mask. When you're using a cutoff wheel, like that thing can explode in your face and end up in your eyes. So, you know, wear a face shield even if it looks silly. Um, you know, just be careful out there pretty much. Um, and yeah, you know, just take your time with it. Uh, be aware of what you're doing and take your time and man, avoid these mistakes because it could have been a lot worse. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it. Um, stay safe out there and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. That's it. Uh -huh.